Hello, everybody. My name is Tom Griffin. I've been for about five years now, and, and uh, one of my best partners here in, in, in the city is Mr. Mark Whiting from the uh, North Shore Mall. I learned early on the mall is a great asset here in the city, and it's something that uh, the police department works very closely with the mall and the mall management and the mall security. You know, we're very proud of the relationship that's existed, you know, since the mall's opening, and we're very grateful um, that it's, it's not unique, but it is truly special. So um, what I will say is, you know, in kind of a tribute to that um, relationship, when the former substation uh, had to be relocated um, due to the construction we're doing on the property, it, it created an amazing opportunity for us to come together, both the mall's um, administration, the city government, the police department, to really kind of envision what we would want a new substation to look like. And um, I think uh, without you know, going into great, great detail, um, working with the, the chief and his department, we were able to deliver a first class um, new substation uh, within the last uh, month uh, to the department and to the city of Peabody. And we're very uh, proud of that. First class is, uh, is really an understatement. You folks are gonna see in a couple of minutes when we take a walk around how, what a beautiful place we have. But it's a testament to, to Mark's relationship with the police department, particularly with Officer John Nelson. He and John have been working together up here for 20 years. It's a relationship that you don't really see in a lot of other cities and towns, and it's really, um, it's really been beneficial to us because there's a lot that goes on up here at the mall. It's a huge facility. It's a huge piece of property. Um, it's pretty much its own town as far as we, the way we look at it. It has banks, it has a church, restaurants. Everything you could ever think about is, is pretty much here at the mall. Um, the Christmas time, it, it, this is a big focus. We're fortunate to be able to work with Mark and, and his budget allows for us to have extra, extra protection up here so everybody feels safe when they're, when they're shopping. That's usually the big time of year for us up here, but um, Recently, we've had some developments, and, and I, I'd like to talk to Mark about that, too. Uh, from our perspective, uh, the past month and a half with the circus up here has been phenomenal. Um, there was a lot of uh, concern in the run-up to that about how that was going to impact the neighborhoods, how it was going to impact traffic, and, and, and all that type of stuff around here. And um, frankly, uh, we didn't have any issues at all, and I thought it was a wonderful event. I saw a couple of the, uh, the uh, shows, and, and I thought it was very professional. And, we didn't have any issues, and I'm just I'm, I'm curious what, what your perspective was on it. Well, you know, I, I have to say when the idea of having the circus at the mall was first presented to me, you know, I had, I had some concerns. But um, after meeting with the um, management of the circus and then um, kind of coming together with the mayor's office, uh, Councilman Ed Charest, and the, red of, red, the rest of the city council, um, we, we were able to secure the approvals that were required to, to host the circus, Big Apple Circus, uh, for 38 shows, um, ran a little bit more than a month. You know, I've, I've received only two calls where there were some concerns um, communicated to my office about the circus, and we were able to quickly address those concerns. I want to say thank you to, um, again, uh, the mayor's office, but specifically to the Department of Health, uh, Sharon Cameron's department. Um, you know, the fire department was amazing to work with, the building inspectional group, and of course, then the police department. And uh, Scott Richards and his group within the police department did an amazing job putting together a very comprehensive uh, traffic control public safety plan, which I think was adjusted but executed flawlessly. And um, as a result, um, there were no issues that I'm aware of that had to deal with traffic coming or going from North Shore Mall during the, um, during the circus's performance here. They've come, they've gone, and uh, we're hoping that the city will support um, them coming back at least next year, if not uh, for additional years. So uh, from my perspective, it was great, and I wanted to specifically use this opportunity to say thank you, Chief, for uh, really just doing a great job. No, it was it was a it was a wonderful event for the city. I think I think my office has enjoyed working the details up there, and uh, and everyone I've talked to had a great time going to the going to the circus. Mm -hmm. I think it's a nice it's a good time of year where things aren't you know it's not Christmas time up here, and for, to to bring more people onto the mall. So I think I think it was a great all around event. So.
Yep. And if they come back, I think we'd welcome, from the police perspective, we'd welcome them back, definitely. Right. And, you know, I mean, what's nice is now we've kind of created in this area of the mall, uh, you know, kind of a uh, Peabody-centric um, type of uh, space where we have both a police station and the Simon Youth Foundation, the Peabody Learning Academy, which is a high school uh, learning environment. And it was great because the um, circus was able to employ uh, a number of the students from the academy, which I loved. Mm -hmm. So um, it's great just to have this, this combined space now over here. And in fact, we're getting ready for the uh, graduation coming up in June. And um, so I think, you know, from uh, how everything executed, it was, it was tremendous. That's great. Yeah, and I know at least one of the nights they gave back uh, the proceeds to a number of different um, charities, charities yeah. local charities here in PB. So that mm -hmm. was great too. So one of the fortunate things we have up, up here at the mall is it, with Mark's staff is he has a very um, professional security group that we work pretty closely together with, and we work on a number of different issues that happen up here in. Um, try and stem them before they, even the public realizes what's going on. We have, uh, you know, unfortunately there's some people that take advantage of re retail crime and we work closely with, when you go through here, you're gonna see we have two separate offices, one for Officer Nelson, one for Office uh, Detective Scopa. And, and they, John's assigned up here all the time and, and he has a real good close working relationship uh, with, with the security that Mark's employed up here. So it's a really, really good comprehensive uh, program we have if there's issues, which there are very few, but um, you know we were able to work together very closely, and I appreciate the guys, the men and women that you have working for your staff up here. Mark. Well, you know the relationship, honestly, um, you know benefits the residents of Peabody in some unusual ways. A number of Peabody police officers started That's in security correct, yeah. here, including um, Deputy Chief Cohan, um, and um, so you know it. it, it the relationship fosters, um, you know, kind of a good training environment That's where true. some of my officers then understand the, you know, the finer points of being a law enforcement officer. Uh, many of them are going to school for criminal justice while they're working here at the mall. And so it becomes a natural recruitment point for uh, right. the we department, which I know you benefit from. Yeah, it's excellent. It's a good relationship and, uh, you know, we can rely on them. If, uh, if something's happening, we know they're gonna be very professional in the run-up to whatever we need to get involved in, so right. it's really good. Um, so when, when did the mall actually open, in the 50s? Mark? 58. So so over that time, if I mean, I can remember when I was a kid, it was an open-air mall, mm -hmm. and it's changed a lot, and uh, I know there's a lot more changes going on now that um, are happening, particularly in the front by 114. Yeah. Is it, can you talk about Absolutely. that? Absolutely. Um, uh, last year, we completed uh, what we call phase one of the promenade development project, which saw the um, construction and uh, opening of the, uh, Bancroft, um, Tony C's, and uh, also 2D Spa, and then uh, and also Cafe Nero. Now we're adding to that lineup with the construction of Hop and Grind, which is a division of um, Tuckaway Tavern out of Raymond, New Hampshire, which has a world-class following. And then we also have Amigos, um, which will be opening, both will be opening this summer. And they add to the roster that was already in place with Not Your Average Joe's and um, with Legal Seafoods. So we expanded the sidewalk area, added a performance stage, and really enhance the landscape out in front of those spaces. So it became much more of a walkway um, that was available to our customers during the summer months. We're gonna be expanding that really from legal seafoods all the way around to Macy's. In fact, the outdoor space will be larger than what is currently um, available outside uh, from, a, from a scale perspective. What will happen is we are going to be adding a new entrance over to where you used to go from the mall into Sears. And um, that entrance will be flanked on either side by some retail, um, entertainment, and restaurant space, which will really dramatically improve and complete the enhancements we're looking to make on 114. We've already announced that Lifetime Fitness will be building a 145,000 square foot state-of-the-art um, fitness facility here at North Shore which will include an outdoor pool. And then we've already um, announced that um, Tesla 
will be building out a sales and service center in what is today the former um, Sears Auto Space. So those, you know, those are the plans that we have in place today. Um, we are not at this point ready to announce who the restaurants, what the entertainment will be. That will probably that announcement will probably come, um, you know, in June or early July. Um, but we fully anticipate that the square footage that used to form the Sears structure will be brought up to grade and that will become a new parking lot. And then you'll be able to walk, hopefully, um, and I believe we'll, we'll be on schedule, from what the new entrance will be at, um, again, where I, I mentioned earlier where it was the uh, point from the mall into Sears. You'll leave the mall at that point, go down through a walkway, and eventually access the Lifetime Fitness. Fine. So um, a lot of work. Yeah, a lot stuff. of work going on right now. And um, we, ask, you know, we're, we, we ask people just to be patient. Um, we will endeavor to work with the police department oh, yeah, again on traffic control on 114. Anything like this going on, Mike's always on the phone with us, working with uh, John Nelson, working with the people that, um, the traffic, Captain Richards and all that. So uh, it's always very good communication to make sure uh, everything goes as smooth as we, I don't know, I think we had four or five meetings in regards to the 114 part of everything. Right. And so um, always trying to work together, which is great. You know, it's a good, uh, good way to keep things going smooth. Well, I, you know, I will say that as part of the approvals process, the city council and well, the mayor's office was very um, specific that they wanted us to work together to create a traffic mitigation plan. And I know we're working, um, you know, around the clock yeah. <laughs> to make sure that if there are any backups, any issues with regard to traffic on 114, that we're quickly working together to get those resolved. And I really appreciate uh, the department's continuous support. I mean, I think we've always done a pretty good job at Christmas time oh, yeah. trying to address traffic flowing into the square. Yep. But um, we just want to make sure during the summer months, while the roadway is being worked on um, at 114, that it doesn't create inconvenience to um, people that use the um, 114 corridor. Okay, so wh why don't we take a walk around and show you the, the, the beautiful facility that. Uh Mark and his team uh, built for us. Yeah, I think you'll be impressed with what you see. It's the main lobby area of the Outreach Center. We could set up meetings with uh, the school resource officers that need to meet with parents here. If we have to meet with uh, store security, we can do that right here. There's two separate desks for when the officers are here. As I said, they can come in here, they can write their reports. Anything that they can do on their computer at the police station, they were able to do on their computer here, which uh, helps us because it saves us from having to have them come all the way back to the station to do their work. They're, they're accessible if something happens in their area. They're still right out on the street, and, and it gives them their response time is, is much better than if they have to go all the way back to the police station. So it, it really works out well for us, and it keeps a police officer on the property here for the mall, so I think that, that that's beneficial to them. We do have an officer that's assigned here. His, his full-time job is community policing working with the mall. He has an office over here, Officer John Nelson. Um, he's been with the department over 30 years. He's a wonderful resource for us, and he, I think and he's for a, us. And for you too, Mark. I have to say, John Nelson and Ralph Scopa with uh, the PB Police Department are somewhat uh, legendary uh, in the retail industry. <laughs> yeah, well, because, yeah. Because um, no, a number of years ago, um, I believe they added up how much merchandise that they had recovered, uh, luckily not from North Shore, but as part of major operations Correct, uh, working yeah. with loss prevention groups uh, from many of our retailers. Uh, and they had recovered um, well over a million dollars worth of merchandise. Yeah, I believe it. Ralph which and, is and really John incredible. worked very hard. And when I first came here, the first year I was here, Ralph got an award from uh, the Retail Organized Crime Organization mm -hmm. uh, for, the, for the work that he does. And he, he's tenacious with what he does, and, and he has a focus. Um, and he gets the job done, and he has the other office. The relationship that we have with the PBD Police Department is truly special, and it's certainly been recognized within Simon itself. John was one of the very few recipients of the Best of the Best, best, of the best Award that was presented to someone outside of the company. Wow. This is uh, it's a great spot, like I said, around here is a nice cafeteria that Again, if the uh, if the officers are out on the street and uh, they they need, you know they want to take a lunch break, uh, have a cup of coffee, 
They have a nice quiet space they can come in and uh, sit down and, and relax, um, but it also keeps them out in, in the beat. That's the key thing is keeping them out in the area uh, that they patrol so that if they do have to respond, they're not driving all the way from uh, Six Allens Lane to get up here. They're already up here and, and their response time is, is shortened immensely. So uh, this other area in here is a nice conference room. We have meetings with all the retailers once a month. Um, if we have a special operation in the police department that, um, for example, last week we had one where we did a number of different search warrants that uh, wrapped up a, a huge criminal case and we needed to have a briefing at 5 o'clock in the morning, we were able to bring you know, agencies from you know, the federal, state, and local level into here and, and have a nice briefing in a professional space and uh, every, everybody was ready to go from there. Uh, thank you again, Mark, you and Simon Malls for, uh, for putting this all together for us. We're, I know my office is a thrill with this space and, and the, uh, the opportunities that it, it provides for us. So uh, thanks everybody and uh, Mark, you wanna? Well, I, I just wanna finish my piece by saying, first of all, thank you to the chief and his predecessors for um, really the partnership we've established here. And you know that is really uh, kind of symbolized by uh, John Nelson and Ralph Scopa and the members of the department that are up here, you know, daily, weekly, monthly, yearly. Um, it's it's been fantastic. You know, I just want to um, wish everyone a, a great, safe summer. And I'm hoping um, people remember that when they come to the mall, that they don't uh, leave children in hot vehicles and certainly pets in in in. in and warm vehicles or hot vehicles. Again, Chief, thanks for everything. I'm so grateful for the partnership. Oh, I am too. Thank you, Mark. All right. Thanks a million.